Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can use nmap to spoof MAC addresses during our scan to stay anonymous. The syntax of doing this particular scan is nmap, the target IP address followed by hyphen hyphen spoof hyphen MAC. There are various options that we can use to use a custom MAC address, to choose a random MAC address and to specify the default MAC addresses of different vendors. You can scan a target by simply giving IP address and specify the hyphen hyphen spoof MAC flag to spoof the MAC address and stay anonymous. You can always add hyphen V to see the output in verbose mode. The example of doing this scan is shown below. So it is the practical time and let's see how you can spoof your MAC address while performing a scan and stay anonymous All right, as you can see over here, you can specify the MAC address from a vendor. So let's say you want to spoof your MAC address from Dell, Apple or 3Com. You can just specify Dell and Nmap will automatically take the vendor's starting prefix and it will spoof the MAC address. You can also generate a random MAC address if you want with specifying zero at the end of hyphen hyphen spoof hyphen mac in case you want to give your own custom mac address you can also do that by giving the custom mac address as you can see over here remember the mac address that you give should be this much bits long it should be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 bits long followed by hexadecimal interpretation and there should be colon in between so what we are going to do right now is we are going to give a MAC address to the device so as you can see over here I'm giving the command which is nmap and then hyphen st to do a TCP scan followed by hyphen pn hyphen hyphen spoof hyphen mac I am saying Dell and also I'm taking a custom MAC address for this particular target when I'm going to scan this. So let's see here and you can see I'm just giving the custom MAC address over here and I'm going to scan my local host computer. Important thing to remember over here you have to specify the particular interface that you are going to use for performing the scan. As you can see, I'm using the ETH0, so I have specified that using hyphen E. If you want to know which interface your computer is using, just type ifconfig or ipconfig for Windows and you will be able to know and check the interface that you want to use for spoofing the MAC address. So I'm going to take this particular MAC address, which is 0001022556 AE. This is just a random MAC address that I have choosed and I will hit enter. Before hitting enter, what I have done is I am running Wireshark to capture the request, the packets, and you can see the filter that I have used is eth.addr instead of IP address this time we want to see the ether address which is the mac address and you can see i have already specified the mac address over here so in case there comes any request to this particular machine that we are going to scan it will automatically tell me that there is an incoming packet with this particular mac address as you can see i have started the packet capture already i will just hit enter and you can see I have initiated a ping scan which means I am performing a ping to see if the host is up or not. You can see here I have received the ICMP request which is because of the ping and let's see if this is the MAC address that we have received. Perfect. As you can see we have received our new spoofed fake MAC address into the Wireshark which means the machine that we scanned received the fake MAC address instead of the correct MAC address. 
Now I will just type ifconfig to show you the correct MAC address of the network adapter of ETH0, the Ethernet adapter that we used and you can see the MAC address was this is the same IP address and this is the same and this is the MAC address that was used 0000C2930370E6 the original MAC address but the MAC address that we received the request was from this particular MAC address which is the fake MAC address that we specified during our scan. So this is how an attacker can spoof the MAC address and the receiving victim will see okay the scan is coming from this particular MAC address which means it is a Dell device it is an Apple device also what you can do is you can take different MAC addresses of different computers there is also a website online where you can generate fake MAC addresses and use those MAC addresses to scan the particular target so I hope you guys understood how you can evade the IDS and firewall sometimes if your MAC addresses are blocked for performing the scan like this and you can stay anonymous without revealing your original and correct MAC address. I hope you guys understood. Thank you.